Hi, I'm Julia and we are going to have a go at making a Roman coin. So in front of me here, I have a selection of Roman coins and they were made from bronze and copper and gold and silver. And Roman coins would have a, the ruler on one side, so the head side, so they would have the emperor, so you would have uh, perhaps Julius Caesar. And on the other side, there would be a picture of either a god or a significant event. So Roman coins were used not only for purposes of buying, but also as a way of communicating important events because obviously they didn't have TV or newspapers. So this was a way of communicating what was going on in the Roman Empire. So we're going to have a go at making a Roman coin and we're going to use, so I'm going to pop these down here. So we're going to use this material here. Now this is called copper foil. It's quite, um, it's quite flexible. You can buy it on places like well-known um, Amazon, for example, or craft shops, but uh, it, it's not very expensive, about five pounds and you get a few, quite a few sheets with it. Um, what's good about it is it's quite thick and robust, unlike silver foil, it's much thinner and tears, whereas this material doesn't. So the first thing that we're going to do is have a circle, a card, and we can make our coins different sizes. So we can have um, different sized cutout circles. Okay. So the first thing we're going to draw is a profile of the emperor. And a profile means you're drawing the side view. So if you look at the you know coins that you've got in your pockets or purses, the queen is in profile. Okay, now we're going to start with, so I'm going to be drawing upside down again here. Yeah, so I've got one here that's already drawn out, it'll help me. So we're going to think about, um, we sort of do a quick outline of a sort of head shape here. And if we sort of draw a nose in. Now, if you look at your ear or if you look at your friend or brother or sister or someone in your family, and measure up, the top of the ear is aligned with the top of the nose, okay? So if you can draw your ear in, that helps as a guide for your nose. And then your nose comes in line with the ear. And then you can draw the mouth and the chin. And the same with the eye. The eye is in line with the top of the ear. So I'll draw the eye. Now, a man has quite a prominent ridge above his eye, so on his forehead. So that ridge will stick out a little bit further on his forehead. And then, because I'm going to do Caesar, I'm going to draw some leaves in, some laurel leaves. So once you're happy with your drawing of your emperor, you're then going to trace over the top of it. So we're going to trace over. I'm doing this really quickly. Make his chin stick out a little bit more. And then we're going to place that onto the foil. So this is a piece of sponge and it'll just help protect the surface that you're working on. So place your um, foil onto the sponge and then we're going to place the tracing. And I'm going to turn this, turn this over 
because what we want is an, a raised impression. And then using this point, just a pointy tool, or you could use a sharp pencil. And you're going to press in over the, the lines that you make. I'm going to use a pencil. Press quite firmly. Now I'm going super quick, but you can take a little bit more care. Not forget on the top of his head. And that ear, some double checking on the top there. In line with the eye and bottom of the nose. Right, okay, so take this off and then you can see there you've got your outline. And if I turn that over, you can see now that that, you run your finger over, you've got the profile image of your emperor. And I'm going to place that onto, back onto your disc. And you just very carefully Run your finger on the outside and get it to position. And you don't need glue for this. And then turn that over. And then you can just fold. Just be careful because some of the edges can be quite sharp. the edges round so that you get an even edge all the way around like so. Now if you want to make your coin so it has two sides you could do the same here and do a, an image of a scene so you could make up a scene something that you've done and do exactly the same use exactly the same process and then when you come to get put the two sides together you could then apply some glue and then pinch it round now to finish it off it can be quite nice just to use something like this which is quite smooth you can get a, a smoothing tool where you just sort of smooth round and get into those little lines that make it stand out a little bit more just helps also with the edges And there we go, a Roman coin using copper foil. So have good fun researching your Roman coins and finding some images to help you draw your Roman emperor. And take care and see you soon.